morning. My name is Jim Tim. I'm from Tempe, Arizona. I'm up here with my Zenith uh, 601XL uh, B model uh, Zenith airplane. It's a great little airplane. I uh, it's uh, powered by a Jabiru 3300 uh, engine. It uh, nice flying airplane. It has a uh, autopilot, two axis autopilot, um, slave to uh, GPS and a very comfortable airplane and a lot of fun to fly, economical. Couldn't ask for a better airplane. All I can say to uh, Chris Heinz is that uh, thanks for putting together a, a great little design. Sorry we had to have a little bump along the path, but um, it's a great machine and um, everybody I know really enjoys flying it. It's a great, a little different being a tail dragger, but um, I think it uh, makes it a little sleeker airplane and still an awful lot of fun to fly. Hi, my name is Al Beyer. I'm from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. I don't have too far to go to come to the fly and I taxi across uh, from my hangar just on the east side of the main runway. Um, I have a 601 HDS with a 3300 Jabiru, 120 horse. Uh, first flight was in 04, uh, November of 04. I've got about 400 hours on it. on it, uh, cruise about 125 miles an hour, stall about 50 miles an hour, max speed about 140. Um, nice little airplane, uh, we're really happy with the factory, all the work they've done with us and congratulations to Chris Hines on his upcoming award. Hey, my name is Walter Schwann, I'm from Sheridan, Illinois and uh, I decided to build uh, Chris's 750. Uh, well, it was last year, I guess. It took me uh, six months, actually, to finish the airplane, but it took about another three months to get the FAA approval and to get the paint on it. So it was a total of about nine months to finish the airplane. Uh, I've built uh, three other home builds before this, and uh, this is an excellent airplane. I love it. It's a lot of fun. The visibility is wonderful. And uh, I have a Jabiru 3300 engine in it, it's 120 horse at 3,300 RPM. It cruises uh, somewhere around 85 to 90 mile an hour. And uh, lands, uh, they say the stall speed on is about 27 mile an hour. I find it to be somewhere around 30. Uh, it lands very short. I have my own strip that I operate out of. And uh, it's a joy to fly. It's really a nice airplane. And uh, congratulations, Chris. You did a wonderful job designing this aircraft and uh, many, many more. Hi, my name is Andy Elliott. I have a November 601 Golf Echo, a Zodiac 601 XL tail dragger, built from a quick build kit from Zen Air Limited in Canada. This air, I flew in from Mesa, Arizona. This is my second trip to Oshkosh in this airplane. It's about 1,400 miles. Airplane has about 350 hours on it with a Corvair 3100 up front. I'm real happy with the plane. Cruises is about 112 knots true. And I'd like to thank Chris Hines for a good design and all the work he's put into helping experimental aviation move ahead. Hi, my name is Jeff Alexander. I'm from Owasso, Oklahoma. And this is my Zodiac CH640. Uh, took me a little bit over five years to build it. Had uh, lots of help from friends and family. I uh, really like flying the airplane because it's a real nice, big, roomy, comfortable cabin. There's lots of headroom in it. It's a good, solid, stable feeling airplane. Uh, it uh, lands very slow, very stable, take off in a real short distance because of the fat wing. And uh, I really enjoy flying the airplane. I flew it up here to Oshkosh this year for the first time. Uh, completed it in October of last year, 2010. It has the O360 engine in it and uh, the airplane uh, finished weight was about 1228 pounds and the gross weight on the airplane is 2200 pounds so there's lots of room for fuel uh, baggage aircraft and uh, other passengers uh, I really like to thank Chris for designing a nice airplane for designing a nice comfortable airplane I feel safe in this airplane and I uh, think you should go for a ride in one sometime if you get a chance oh, my name is Dennis Hutchinson uh, from Indianapolis, Indiana. 
my partner Leroy Wheeler and I built the 601 HD plans built only started back in 97 and it took us 13 years to build it we got our airworthiness certificate in September of 09 uh, we currently have 224 hours on it getting here to Oshkosh we got a Subaru E81 with a warp drive prop uh, great engine runs like a sewing machine it only burns four gallons an hour so it's nice and cheap to fly uh, had a really enjoyable time getting up here. It's actually my first long cross country. And really enjoyable flight on the way up. And to Chris, this design is one of the nicest airplanes I've ever flown. I grew up flying gliders, and this thing's almost exactly like flying a glider. You know, if you move the stick more than half an inch, you're doing way too much. But thank you very much for a really solid design. Hi, I'm uh, Woody Harris, and this is my Zenith uh, 601 XLB. It's uh, Corvair powered with the 2850 cc William Wynn conversion on the Corvair engine. I'm here from uh, Nut Tree uh, Airport in Vacaville in Northern California. Uh, flew out here in the company of uh, three other Zeniths. Uh, we flew by uh, Reno, Pyramid Lake, Black Rock Desert, uh, Driggs, Idaho. Grand Tetons, uh, Jackson Lake, Yellowstone Lake, Old Faithful, West Yellowstone, uh, over to Sheridan, Wyoming. We did uh, Giants Tower, flew into Custer County, attempted to see Mount Rushmore, but the presidents uh, had their heads in the clouds. So we uh, flew off, we did the Black Hills of South Dakota, uh, the Badlands, flew along Badlands National Park, uh, in through Minnesota. And here we are at Oshkosh having a good time. Uh, I wanted to say a special hi to uh, Chris Heinz, whose picture I took standing beside the box that my kit came in at Quality Sport Plains in Northern California in Cloverdale, and uh, let him know uh, kind of how his kit turned out in my hands, and thank him for designing just a really fun airplane that's brought a lot of fun to my, myself and my friends, and uh, wish him good luck for the future. Yeah, I've been flying the hell out of it. Uh, yeah, we got an air room in the particular boat now. Oh, yeah. Probably Ralph Peter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know.